Hey guys, we're gonna play some Greenville. I'm going to be going over the brand new Greenville update, dude. I don't think anybody was expecting this update at all because they literally just updated not even a month ago. A couple weeks ago they updated, but dude, who knew they'd update again, dude? What the heck is this little surprise update, I guess you could say? But uh, yeah, boys, it's not a huge update. It's not an entirely huge update, but they did add some pretty cool stuff. So, without further ado, let me get into the good old change log here. They added an entirely new options menu, which I was messing around with. This is actually way, 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 way nicer than what we uh, had before. And I'll be showing you guys that and uh, showcasing that entire thing. New options. There's uh, joystick dead zones for uh, Xbox users or people who uh, use controllers on PC, which is actually nice. Uh, and then there's uh, saved options from old options when you were put to default due to improved internal setup. So I think they just save the options. It saves it better than it did uh, last time. They added 12 new cars into the update boys there's a lot of cool cars in this update actually there's some pretty cool ones if i do have to say so myself and then there's little bug fixes they fix some roads uh fix the pizza job rerouting and then fix some car bugs so basically there was just a bunch of cars added to this update so i'm gonna go in here and show you guys the cars actually hold on before i do that i want to show you guys the new options menu this is pretty cool so it's the same uh thing up here hit the options of boom look at this boys we have a whole new options menu here uh, on this side, this is where the options are all being held, and then on the left is where you can uh, select and kind of filter it uh, better than having them all here at once. So if you want your vehicle options, it'll filter into just vehicle options. Now, it resets everything with this update, so you gotta like change all your settings back, because mine, mine were all uh, toggled and weird and changed, so I had to change everything back. But uh, yeah, dude, look at this. And you also have a description of what the setting does, so like kick down behavior, for example. If enabled, tap throttle W on keyboard on temporarily... To temporarily engage sport mode and uh, et cetera, et cetera, whatever, whatever. But uh, yeah, it gives you a description of what the option actually is. That's actually pretty nice. So if I don't know what something is, I can just hover over it and it'll tell me what it is. Now, I think most of the options are the same. Actually, no, there's acceleration intensity now, which is pretty cool, which is uh, if you're on keyboard, it'll allow your car to accelerate slower rather than faster. And uh, instant, so I'm actually going to put that on slower and I'm actually going to test that out. You can also toggle on or off AEB for uh, every single car, which is actually kind of nice, because I know AAB is kind of annoying sometimes, but I think I'm just going to keep using the uh, U button. So it's got auto flip vehicle, auto hold brakes, auto start vehicle. All of these are the same settings, I'm pretty sure. Brake intensity, I'll put that on slow. Uh, but uh, yeah, all of these are the same, and then you got your audio settings over here, graphics you can change, gamepad, this is where you can do your joystick dead zone, character, and then uh, my server. So, I, dude, this is a really nice options uh, menu here. And this is all of the options put into uh, one thing. But I like how you can filter them. Dude. This is really nice. Super nice. I think this is definitely needed for Greenville. This is for needed for sure. So without messing with the uh, options now, we're going to go into the dealership and show you guys all of the new cars. Now, like I said, there's not too many, but they did actually add a good amount. Look at this, dude. Look at all these cars. we got some actually pretty cool ones. Because we get the Volkswagen van here, which I'm actually going to buy one of these. I have not bought any of these cars yet. I want the 23 window. Do not mind if I do. Oh, my God. Almost $100,000. Good thing they haven't... I've been uh, saving my money, because now I can actually buy all these cars. So we got the uh, Volkswagen van here. Also got a Gran Turismo. I'm actually going to buy this. I hate these wheels, dude. These wheels are so ugly. I'm going to have to get this white one. $35,000. Also got a GLC, uh, 2017-2018. This is the AMG. I kind of want the AMG. Performance Studio Pack. Yeah, I'm going to get it in blue. I'm going to get it in blue. Lunar Blue Metallic. Also got a new Jetta. This thing is actually pretty cool. I might buy this. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It also got a uh, remodel of the 2022 Rams, dude. Because I know I came in here and I was confused. I was like, I could have sworn they just remodeled these uh, Rams. But these are the 2022 models. You got the 1500. And then you got the 2500 and the 3500. And then also the TRX or the uh, T-Wex. But uh, actually, I'm probably going to sell my 2018 and get one of the new... 2022 Rams. So I'm gonna oh, let's see, dude. One thing Greenville needs is definitely a different uh way of figuring out what trims you need or what, what trim a different way of selecting trims. Like they need like a drop down menu or a big menu where you can like see all of the trims at once instead of selecting this because I don't know how many trims there are and I don't know if I've seen them enough because I know with these trucks there's just a ton. So I just kind of have to memorize what I am uh seeing. But I think that's definitely a thing they need and um. It would help the game a lot and buying cars better. Just an, a whole options menu for um, the trims. $86,000 out of my pocket. But I'm going to sell my other one, so I can use this one. I also got the T-Wex. All right, what's the the Sandblast Edition? Is $105,000. Oh, my money's going down quick, dude. I literally had $500,000. I'll think about that one. Uh, maybe I'll sell some other cars get some of that. We also got the uh, 
new Cayman right here, dude. Look at this, dude. This is actually pretty cool. The new, uh, the newest generation came in the 2023. And then with that, also got the GT4. I'm buying one of these for sure. So many models. We got the, uh, wow, there's a lot. GT4S Y-Sack package, GT4RS, GT4S PDK, ooh, PDK six speed. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get this one. But dude, that's like all my money. That's like all my money. For the YSAC GT4 RS, dude, come on! Yeah, I'm gonna have to sell a couple cars to get some of these, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be broke. Also got a new Volvo SUV. This is actually pretty cool. It's got a little, uh, cargo box on the top, which is pretty cool. And then also the, what is this? An electric, uh, Volkswagen car thing, I'm pretty sure. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna buy, I'm just gonna buy this. I have, I'm fine with money. Um, I will just be broke for a little bit. Whoa. Yeah, the like of the Arctic Grey. I'm gonna get this. Ooh, that one hurt. Who the heck is that? Oh, it's Dante. Oh, dude, this is a new GLC. Dude, this thing looks good. Dang. This thing actually looks really good. All right, so what did I just buy? Okay, there's some cars I don't need. I'm going to sell some cars really quick that I don't need. So give me a minute here. All right, we're good on money. We're good on money. We're good on money. So I want to test out some of the new features in the uh, vehicles. We got the um, acceleration intensity. And I'm pretty sure that was the only one. We got braking intensity, but they had that in the game. So I want to test out the acceleration intensity. So I'm going to get out the GT4. Oh, Oh my god, this thing looks good. Oh, I might change the wheels though, because I don't like the blue wheels on like the kind of blue, blueyish gray. Dude, this thing looks so sick. Look at the carbon. The headlights are crazy. They're like actual real headlights. He's like, somebody actually made these. It's not like a decal. That's crazy. Oh, look, that's not carbon. Bro, what? Why is that not carbon? Ew, I gotta get rid of that. Ew. Oh, these little, little side things are carbon. Side vents carbon too. Oh my god, this wing. Carbon. Part of it is. Dude, this thing looks good. Oh my god. All right, hold on. We'll give, we'll give it a little cold start. I'll give it a little cold start. Dude, just like the GT3. Oh my god. Is that the idol? Oh my god, that's the idol. I thought that was just the startup sound. That was being super loud. Holy crap, that's the idol. No way. So just like the GT3. All right, so the steering. I gotta change my steering. The steering is on medium right now. I gotta go. I gotta go slow. Slow steering. Okay, now I think I gotta get out of my car and get back in. I think it tells me. You'll need to exit and re-enter the vehicle for the thing to apply. I don't know if I just have to get out and get back in, but I'm just gonna respawn it just to be sure. Much better, much better. All right, so I'm gonna test. Okay, so the slow. You could definitely tell with the slow acceleration. So I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop here. This is acceleration on. Uh, I think it's like slow or whatever the setting is. Slower, yeah. Look at that. That's actually really nice. You don't just take off. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a setting before. I'm pretty sure that's new, but correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on instant. Put it on instant now. Let me get out and get back in and see if that changes it. Let's see. Did that did that change anything? I, I can't I literally cannot tell if that changed anything or not. Oh yeah, it did, because look at how much slower that is. Dude, slower is so much cooler. It's so much easier just to get off the line. Like, just... yeah, look, look at how fast that is. I mean, it's not really, there's like a slight difference, but you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. Look at that. That's kind of cool. What do the turn signals look like? Oh, it's little bars down here and then uh, same as the taillights. That's pretty cool. Okay, the screen shaking at, like this is not, not it for me. All right, this thing's pretty cool, dude. I do like this car a lot. I'm probably going to drive this thing. A good amount. So next car that they added that I bought is the oh the 2022 um 2500 HD. Oh, this thing better sound good. Oh my god, holy bed! What in the world? All right, cold start. All right, that was that's all right. That was all right. It sounds like the other one. I mean, it's just a stock. Do I wish I could put like exhaust on this thing, make it scream? Okay, okay. The steering is not bad on this one like they did with the 2018. They, uh, they fixed the steering on the 2018, but if you guys remember when they first released it, the steering was really weird. This thing's pretty good. I like this thing a lot. The bed is super bulky. You got the side things. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty handy, though. I can see that. It's pretty cool. All right, does this thing have launch control like the other ones? Wait a minute, what? Oh, I, oh, I think it takes a Wait, what? Why is that so slow? I'm, I hit W now. I am hitting W now, and it takes a sec for it to register. Okay, why did it just do that? Why is this acting so weird? Maybe it's the, uh, it might be the acceleration intensity. Let me try that. Oh, it is the acceleration intensity. Yep, 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 yep. That is the acceleration intensity. So, if you guys have launch control and your acceleration is, uh, on slow, it'll take a second for it to register to, like, rev up. Because, I mean, look, like, I'm hitting W now and it just... 
Okay, why is it like it like holds it? It holds it. My finger on the W key. I let off now. That was a solid like three seconds of it still revving when I let off the W key. So W key now. Still holding it. I'm gonna let off three, two, one. Let off the W key. That is really weird. I don't know if I like that. I do not know if I like that. I might have to keep the um, acceleration intensity on fast because I rev my car a lot. I do launch control a lot. And that is really weird. I don't know why it does that. It like kind of hangs. Um, I'm going to do launch control. Let's see how that works. Okay, well, obviously the acceleration is still uh, good with launch control and shifting. It's still fast, but it's just the acceleration like off the start. But that's actually good. So if, you're, if you have a launch control or if you're revving the car up, It'll still give you a good launch, even with the slow acceleration. Fog lights and everything? Oh my god, it's got some nice LED fog lights. Holy crap. Like, kind of blue. Jeez, br holy bright. High beams, of course. Look at that. I love how you can flash your high beams. That's so funny. Such a cool feature at Greenville added. All right. So we got that. And then what are some other cars that I bought? Oh, the GLC. This thing's got to sell. This thing looks really good, dude. This thing looks cr crazy. These side steps are a little bulky, in my opinion, but... Look at that. They just stand out so much. If they were black, I think it fit better, but still. All right, let's give this thing a little cold start. Let's see. Ooh. On my way. Look at that plate. Ooh, this thing sounds good. I swear, all I hear is like turbo. Oh. Oh. Oh, excuse me. God. Nine speed. Wow, this thing is fast. Turn signals and everything. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. This thing got launch control. This thing has got to have launch control. Let's see. Oh, yep, it's got launch control over the boost to build. Oh, I love the turbo noises. Dude, this thing moves. All right, so that is one of the new cars. I just kind of, I didn't really buy every single car. I just bought the ones that I was interested in. Ooh, Gran Turismo. Hold on, this thing got to sound good. This thing has to sound good. Call start. Oh, yeah, that's nice. What is that beeping? I don't know, surprise some Maserati chime. Dude, that front plate is hideous. Dude, look at the emblem and everything. Dude, this thing looks sick. How's that sound test? Not bad. I've definitely heard this sound on a car before. That is for sure. Not bad. I wish... I, I, I thought they'd add more trims to this, but it's only one trim. Maybe for this year or something like that. I don't know. Is this thing launch control? Let's see. I doubt it. It does have launch control, but it's very, like, low. What? Okay. Wow, this thing has a really low launch control. What is the point of that? Why? Bro, what? This is like idle. This is like idle. Why is it a launch control at 1600 RPM? What is the point of that? Okay, I don't know what the heck is up with this car. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or what, because there's no way a launch control would be at 1600 RPM. That is kind of ridiculous. This thing is pretty sick. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so what else did I buy from the update? Dude, this is the sandwich mobile. This thing is ridiculous. If you know, you know. Only car we have left is the 23 window Volkswagen van. Dude, look at this thing. Dude, I wish there was an interior. So you can see how many people are in this car, like when you got people in there. How, how many seats does this thing have? Hold on, because I know this thing's got to have a lot of seats. Let me see. Good thing I can see on my phone. Eight seats. That's actually not bad. This is the homie mobile. Oh, that cold start is crazy. Oh, that cold start is crazy. Oh, yeah. Let's get a move on here. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh my God. This thing is so slow. What is the top speed on this thing? 60? 60? I'm pretty sure the top speed has got to be... Si yep, it's 60. 60 miles an hour is the top speed. Holy top speed. Isn't that great? Brakes? Uh, it's got some decent brakes. Launch control? Imagine. No, this thing does not have launch control. Imagine it did. That'd be hilarious. All right, boys. Well, that is it for this Greenville update. Like I said, it is not a huge update. It is uh, pretty small, but they did add some cool stuff and a lot of cool cars that I like. And this option menu is freaking great, dude. This option menu is fantastic. This is super nice. We have descriptions now and everything is all organized. I don't have to go through reading and searching everything. I should be like, oh, I want to change my braking intensity. Boom. Vehicle. And right there. Boom. Look at that. I love these little buttons here. You can toggle on and off too. It's super cool. But uh, yeah, boys, let me know what you guys think of this small Greenville update. Let me know your favorite car. I'm definitely going to say my favorite car. All right, I think that this is probably most people's favorite car is probably this GT4. Where the heck is it? Here it is, dude. This GT4 RS, especially this Wysak, dude. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to have to see if I can get, like, different uh, wheels. Dude, the idle is crazy. I'm going to have to see if I can get different wheels for this thing. But, uh, yeah, boys, let me know your favorite card down below in the comments. But, uh, yeah, boys, appreciate you guys for watching today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.